Whenever we consider what Rasulullah وسلم, told us with regards to eating, we are remembering Allah. So among the basic principles or pillars of eating, the etiquette of eating in Islam, is that we eat a third, drink a third, and leave a third for breathing. Of course, those who are used to overindulging, because when they give you on Sheikh Google what is the capacity of the stomach, they're giving you the capacity of the normal stomach, not the capacity of people who are used to gorging themselves on a regular basis, overeating, because the stomach is like a balloon. The more air you blow in it, the bigger it gets. So it's the same thing. It is an expandable organ. So if you're used to really packing it in every time, every meal, you're just piling it in, then your stomach gets bigger, bigger, and bigger. So your capacity now, maybe double or triple what the normal person's capacity is. But the point is that if you're able to control yourself, because the stomach, again, if you, if you stop packing it in, and you set a spe specific regime of how much you're going to eat, then the stomach starts to decrease. It'll go back down to its normal size. And then when you eat that two thirds, you will feel not full because that's the whole point. You don't fill your stomach. And the Prophet ﷺ emphasized that saying, the worst container that a human being can fill is his stomach. The worst container. You have containers, things which contain things, you pour things in them all the time. Right? The worst one to fill is the stomach. This is prophetic advice. So if we are able to take this on, it would make a difference for most of us because now we're in a generation. According to WHO, World Health Organization, from the year 2004 onwards for the first time in recorded human history the number of people who were obese is greater than the number of people who are starving this is the state of the world today and prophet muhammad in sahih al-bukhari when talking about the future the signs of the last day, the coming of the last day, he said, وَيَذْهَرْ فِيهِ مُسْلِمًا And there would appear among them, amongst the Muslims, obesity. Because in the Prophet's time, this was very uncommon. Only people who had medical problems, you know, because for some people, okay, there's a medical thing. I'm not talking about the average person. We're talking about special people. They have some problems where they eat a little bit, they get fat. But... We're talking about the norm. So, the norm amongst the Muslim Ummah was for people to be of moderate build. They lived, you know, lives which was active, etc. So that obesity, and they didn't, uh, you know, this luxury eating styles, lifestyles, etc. wasn't there. So people maintain a natural state they were not obese obesity was rare but the prophet ﷺ said among the signs of the coming of the last day was that obesity would now appear amongst muslims meaning it becomes prominent it becomes known it's, we see it all around us the worst container that a human being can fill is his stomach this is prophetic advice.